I saved a hive. I did not lose the colony. After winter, we had one beehive that I split into three other beehives. But even that wasn't enough because there is one of my beehives in the tree. So I'm simply going to replace, the, reposition this hive over there. The bee tree is right there. People often think of a swarm of bees as a big angry mob of bees chasing people, stinging, you know, angry. And that's not what a swarm is. A swarm is when for some reason the colonies decided to leave the hive and so they all fly out together looking for a new home. Often they'll land somewhere for a couple hours, a day, in between while they go find it. And in the very middle of the swarm is the queen. The rest of the bees are all huddled around to protect the queen. You don't want your bees to swarm. I needed more frames in the hive. They needed more room to do what they need to do. That's why they're moving out. I'm gonna go get another box of wax and put on top of this one. This is a box of wax foundation. This is wax upon which the bees can build the honeycomb. I wish I had another box to give them that already had drawn comb in it. That's comb that bees have already made. Um, I don't. But in the box that I just moved, the original comb, um, the original hive already has some drawn comb. It has some pollen stores. It has some honey stores. Hopefully with these new frames on top, it'll give them plenty to work with. The chickens have followed me over here. All right there. Before these bees swarmed, they would have gorged themselves on honey and filled up their honey bellies. So they're not going to be too mean or aggressive. They're in a happy, contented state pretty much. So I'm not going to worry about smoker or veil at this time. The bees, I'm going to try to entice them into the hive. I'm just going to open the lid and pull the branch over and hopefully they'll walk down in it. I'm also going to spray them first with some sugar water, which hopefully will reduce their tendency to fly. They'll be more likely just to climb down. Can you see this? They're slowly making their way back into the hive. Think we're past the halfway point what do you think you can tell there's many fewer bees because you can see the branch through them and when i started you sure couldn't see the branch at all if this swarm had been on one of the smaller branches i would have just cut off the branch and set it on top of the box and let them walk down in naturally but they're on the main trunk so i'm just trying to bend it over i think most of them are in there just don't know. Go down in the hive, girls. Let's go. Go down in there. I'm pretty tired. I've been standing here like this. I'm guessing maybe an hour and a half. There's a lot fewer bees on that branch, but I wish I could think of a way to get them in there. I don't have a bee brush on me. I don't I don't want to pop them off because there's so many hanging over the side over here. I don't want them falling in the grass. I don't know where the queen is. I mean, most of them have gone in, I think. Fortunately, Chris is on his way home. You can give me some help here. Well, I don't know if they made things better or worse. The swarm was too low for the top, for the top hive. So I moved the top box over here and then I bumped them off the main tree trunk onto the corner of that box. But they're not really going down in it, so it makes me wonder where the queen is. Is she inside the box or outside the box still? All right, I'm ready for the top. Okay. All right, we think we got them all in there. We're gonna put the inner cover on. All right, 
no bees in it. Can you give me just a little bit of smoke right there? A little bit, watch out ladies. This is the corner that the queen went down in, so it's a pretty busy corner. I got a bee in my hair, I can feel it. I see it, it's gone. I'm gonna put grass in the entrance. This way when the bees make their way out of it, they'll climb through the grass, they'll move the grass out of the way, they'll do orientation flights again. This will help them learn the new location of the hive so they don't return. Back over there, where is it? <laughs> over there where the old hives were. Well, all's well that ends well. And it may have taken me nearly two hours, but I got the bees in the hive, lid on, shut in, uh, peach branch in the front so they'll have to work their way out. And now they can enjoy life in the orchard where there'll be lots of things to pollinate. Thank you so much for watching today and we will see you next time. Thank you.